What's going on, y'all? You know who it is. Mr. Warmack, a.k.a. Low Rent, a.k.a. The Ignorant American, a.k.a. The Truth As You Know It, a.k.a. Dirty Business, a.k.a. The Jet Jaguar of YouTube. And what I'm doing here is I'm giving you, like I said, I'm doing this podcast thing. I'm going to see how that all works out and give it a go, and we're going to rock and roll. So let me, all I'm going to talk about today is... A lot of people want me to talk about this. Excuse me, I just got done working 16 hours, and uh, I got like a little allergy going, so excuse me if I don't sound at my finest. But then again, me at my finest is better than, you know, me at less than performance. At, I, me at 80% still beats you at 100, so let's, 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 let me go in and like, we'll all be feeling good. Today I want to talk about what I think about these social media, well, let me, look, how can I explain this? These black conscious social social revolutionaries, if you want to call them, on YouTube, or in general on social media. Well, I've been asked to do this because a lot of these, like, there's a lot of people out there that are trying to do stuff and help the people, and I commend that, but unfortunately, the, as, as always, the, the, the minority that's, like, out there that affects the good, the minority that's the bad, it overshad- overshadows the good, and, like, a lot of these, uh, some of these uh, black conscious revolution whatever you want to call them they're trash and i don't, I don't want to mean like you know they're personally trash they're like i'm above somebody i mean like their message is trash like i can pick apart their defense and a lot of them aren't really doing anything what they're doing is they're talking they're talking to you trying to get their image up trying to get their bucks up whatever and whatever and i don't hate that but my point is i i'm not here to take advantage of the people I asked, like I said, I asked for donations before. Yes, you can donate. I'm not telling you that you don't have to donate. Let's let's put it this way. If you don't donate, it's not like I'm not doing these videos, as you can see, because I don't get a lot of donations, and people still, and I still do videos. The donations is the part that's to help the movement keep going. And yes, I, like I tell you, if you look at my, look, if you click on that donation, you got no control or say so about, you know, what happens over here. It's a donation, and I thank you for it. But a lot of these social revolutionists, they don't, they don't want to do anything. You want to know why? Because they feel they can just talk you into like talk you into doing something. Where they play the fifth row, of the you know the the fifth row in the arena. They want to put you in front on the front line where they sit, you know, on the sideline. And a lot of these guys, I just when I sit and listen to their videos, I just like I can pick apart like I got that gift where I can tell this between bullshit and Shinola. A lot of these guys can. A lot of these guys want to give you a big old song and dance. A lot of people are happy that they're on YouTube. A lot of people are happy that they're making a little bit of change. Which, by the way, I don't you know. I don't hate anybody who's making some money because, like I said, this economy you gotta make some, have a stream of income. And if you can do it through YouTube, go ahead. But I'm, my point is, don't do it at the expense of other people. Now, there's been there's been some people here that exploit others, and I know it. But like, like I said. I, I'm not going after anybody unless my name is mentioned. Like, I made some people, people have it. If you look at some of my videos in the comments, some people ask for other people. Like, one time, this one guy, I had a, I, it was either on the Black Folks G, uh, the Georgia GOP, or the, or the Black Church is going to be the death of y'all, or something like that. Somebody asked me about three particular brothers on and on YouTube and they're like kind of black if you want to call it black chances they're more like, you know, aware of themselves. And I I gave my opinions on all of them. I mean I gave what I said this is how I feel. Don't I said don't let me influence your decision one way or the other. You still have to look at the, I said look at the videos and feel what if you feel a certain way you need to let them know. But I said, in my opinion, it would be the best route for it to go, and I, and I gave the guy a reason why. Like, a lot of these so-called black aware, well, black revolutionists, black liberators, black conscious motherfuckers, they tell you something, but they don't explain the whole nine yards. They want to tell you something, and you're supposed to, you're supposed to believe in why. Or, or a lot of them will pull this number. You can't refute anything I say. Well, you ain't saying shit. I can't refute shit. If, you know, how can I refute shit? It's shit. You know, it, 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 I don't refute mud messages. And like a lot of couple of them came at my head before, but like I told them, man, I'm like, I can go in the mud with you too. I said, I'm from the mud. I'm from the dirt. I have no, I'm from the bottom. I have no problem getting dirty. So there's basically just telling you people, like, if you want to listen to somebody, make sure, make sure they have a clear 
consistent. That's the key. Having a, a consistent message really helps. Like if, if, if one minute they're switching up, and next minute they're switching up, and next minute they're switching up, you don't need to follow that type of person because why wow, they'll switch up on you and you'll build up so much quote unquote faith and interest and you'll just build up so much hope that you'll be disappointed when you find out the dude really is or female really ain't what they seem to be. Like I had, I've been don't be impressed with people just because they say, "Well, I met Soul Soul for YouTube." Well, like big fucking deal. Who are you? You can meet everybody you want to. Let me tell you this: if and, and don't don't be impressed. This is a telltale sign you shouldn't follow somebody. If someone meets a, a lot of people off of YouTube or tries to work with a lot of people off of YouTube, and all like ninety five percent of them or ninety eight percent of them don't work with them anymore. That should tell you something about that person who's telling you who they work with. If, if everybody has a glowing negative recommendation about this motherfucker, you need to stay away from what that You know people will turn and tilt the story on YouTube because, excuse me, like I said, it's YouTube. Well, back to lecture at hand. I'm, I'm just saying you got to follow, you got to look for a clear, consistent, precise, and concise message. You shouldn't look for somebody say, well, I'm for black unity. I'm pretty sure that we can all take that out. Mostly, everybody's here for black unity. The fact of the matter is how you go achieve that black unity. Ones, others have one way, others have another way. But if they can give you a message like that, you need to listen to them. If they give you some pie in the sky bullshit like, oh, we all should unite together, you tell them you need to slap the shit out and say, wake up from that fucking dream. Because it ain't going to happen. I don't see black unity happening in my lifetime, and I don't see it happening in my kid's lifetime. So you need need to just be more aware on YouTube and don't let like, don't let a smiling face or it's because somebody can you know do their little you know buck shuffle and your hop step and don't let that impress you. All right, I gotta go. Peace.